let's see the fuse okay the fuse is as you see so this is the symbol for the fuse okay this is a fuse symbol f means fuse okay f you can also find like this symbol as you see okay this is also the symbol for the fuse as you see okay so the fuse always is used in the protection to protect other circuit or other stages this is a fuse as you see here okay this is a fuse this is another fuse okay we can also find a fuse in this shape this is a covered fuse okay it is covered by this rubber here we have a big fuse that is filled as you see this fuse is burned it is burned out so let's use the multimeter and check it so to check the fuse using the multimeter okay you should first put the multimeter to the buzzer option as you see over here okay so let's put the multimeter to the buzzer option and let's press the power button okay so let's check this using the multimeter probe as you see so this is the black probe for the multimeter and this is the red probe okay so let's check this fuse so as you see no buzzer no continuity in the multimeter means this fuse is burned out is filled we should replace it so let's check another a serviceable one okay for example for this do you see a buzzer means this fuse is good so let's check this also for this this is a good one as you see in the multimeter zero zero one means do a zero ohm we have another here so let's check it this is a bad fuse okay because we don't hear any buzzer okay so as i see to you the fuse always this is the recognized symbols for the fuse this is the symbol number one and this is the symbol number two okay so now we check and we find that these two fuses are bad so how can we replace it we should replace it by what and we should base on which criteria to replace these fuses simple so any fuse always when you find a blowout or a bad fuse like this you should replace it with another fuse with the same characteristics and specifications two values okay so two values always the fuse has two values the power and the amps value okay so always you will find in each fuse okay so this is the fuse always you will find so this is the fuse okay in each fuse you will find in its body two values okay so the voltage a value in volt and a value in amps okay so for example you will find for example 110 volt or 230 volt for example etc or you can find for example 1 amps 2 amps 3 amps etc so let's see first this fuse and let's check what is the voltage and the ampere for this fuse because to replace this fuse you should respect these values that is written 
in this views okay so let's check so let's take here so as you see the first value is here so as you can see we have here the first value 250 volt okay we have here 250 volt okay so for this fuse we have 250 volt okay the second value is the ampere so let's check yeah we have here as you see here we have three amps okay we have here three a okay we have three a so three a means amps so because this fuse is bad we should replace it with another fuse with the same characteristics means 250 volt and 3 amps okay you should never replace it with you should never replace it with a high value than this okay never because for example when we have for example a fuse here let's assume that we have here a fuse okay this is a fuse exactly this fuse with 3 a means 3 amps okay 3 amps means when the current increase more than 3 amps or above 3 amps this fuse will be cut here this file will be cut okay in order to protect other circuits okay in order to protect other circuits for example we have here IC capacitor etc in order to protect other circuit this fuse will be faded and will be burned out okay so if you replace it with more than 3 amps for example 4 amps will not protect other circuits because it can let for example 3 amps 3.5 amps and also 3.9 amps pass through this circuits then maybe the circuits it is worked just with less than 3 amps okay so you should always replace a bad fuse with another fuse with the same characteristics okay so it's good for this fuse let's see the other fuse so for this fuse we have this and this let's see right now for this fuse okay because this fuse also is a bad fuse we can check if you want we can recheck check another time using the multimeter so let's use the multimeter to check because this this is evident and this because we have it is burned out but this fuse we should check it because it seems that it is good but it's not good okay so let's check this using the multimeter so we have here the multimeter as you see okay so let's check this fuse first you should press this to the buzzer option as you see so this is the buzzer option okay so you should first put this button to the buzzer option okay then press the power button as you see we have here the power button so let's press the power button okay now we have here reading in the screen so let's check this fuse as you see this is the multimeter probe this is the red probe and the black probe always the black probe use it with the negative terminals and the red probe with positive terminals okay but for the fuse it doesn't have a negative or positive terminal like capacitor it and diodes okay so let's put one probe here first let's check first let's check that the multimeter is good so let's touch this probe as you see now it's okay you hear a buzzer and over here we have a zero ohm as you see the resistor is zero zero one means zero ohm now we can use this multimeter it's good so let's check this fuse we should hear a buzzer let's put one probe here and put another here as you see 
we don't hear anything means this is a bad views okay so let's check because it seems that it's good but it's bad so let's let's see here we can open it no problem anyway this is a bad views it seems that it's good as you see okay but it's bad because a file within it inside it is cut okay that's why always you should have the multimeter you cannot judge if this or confirm if this fuse is good or bad use in your eyes no you should use the multimeter okay so this is a bad fuse okay now what should we do always also we should replace this fuse using another fuse okay so let's check it so let me see so over here we have 250 volts exactly the same as this okay so as you see we have here 250 volts okay and for the ampere let's see so we have 8 amps okay we have 8 ampere okay so for this we have so let's use another color this color so we have for the voltage okay for the voltage and here we have for the ampere amps or ampere so for, for the voltage we have 250 volt for amps we have 8 a okay even if as you see if you focus here this is a small fuse this is a bigger one and this is a small one but here we have 8 amps and here we have just 3 why because it's the file inside fuse is bigger than this as you see you see this it is not thick it is thin okay but maybe because we have here 8 amps means it is thick the file inside this is thick exactly like this okay that's why we have 8 amps so we should replace also this with another fuse with this characteristics 250 volts and 8 amps never 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 use never use more than this for example 9a or 10 etc you can yeah you can use less than you can use 7 amps if you don't find for example exactly the 8 amps you can use 7 no problem because you still you will still protect your circuit okay but if you use more than 8 9 or 10 or 12 for example you will burn all circuits okay so this is the main working principle you should always replace the a bad fuse using another fuse with the same characteristics okay if you don't find the same characteristics you can use other characteristics but should be less than this this than the normal characteristic if you have the 8 here you can use 7a or 7.5 or even 6 no problem you will still protect your ICs but if you use above this this is a problem you will burn all circuits okay so this is all about the fuses